These goodies are called classified cards. Something that can be made up by yourself or you can buy them at Montessori Down Under from Roberta who's got lots of them. Really cool source, resource. So you want to use them only with something that is in the environment. I chose the classified card from a turtle because recently we have introduced a turtle into our environment and now the children want to know what the different parts are being called. So there we are. Remember how you wanted to know the different parts of the turtle? And I showed you a few of them already. Come on, today I will show you a few more. Come on, sit down with me. Look, here we have the classified cards. Classified cards are made out of three different sets. One set has got the picture as well as the name of what you can see on the picture. And on the back of it, at times, there's a bit of a description about the part that is at discussion on the individual card. But we don't need them right now. We can use them at the end if you are interested in seeing what you, um, if you match the things as you thought you would match them. As we are having an advanced lesson with an older child. Then there's these cards which are the name cards. They have all the different names of all the different parts we're going to talk about. Name cards. We will use those. I'll put them to you. And this are the picture cards. They have got a picture of all the different things and um, highlighted this specific part th that we are going to talk about and that we are going to name. I can see the first card you're having there says Clustron. That's a part we haven't spoken about. A Clustron. What do you think which part it is? Oh, you think it's the top of the turtle. Well, let's put it there. Clustron. So the next one I think you know already. Yes, it's a tail. That's right. So where's the tail highlighted? Yeah, over here. Let's put it. Yeah. Next part is called Karapake. Karapake. Which part do you think that is? The bottom of the turtle. Right. Put it there. There we go. Bottom shield of the panzer. Karapake. That's what you believe. Right. So the next part is, you know that word already, I believe. You want to give it a go? Limbs. That's it. So let's put it. I know what a head is. Head goes here. There we are. I think I did them all very well. But I'm not so sure about these two. Plastron and Cap... Ka what is it? Carapake. So let's have a look. We have a look at the different cards. Let's just match them up. So put them maybe here. There you go. Start with the first one. It's a whole one, like I thought. That's a new one, Karapake. Karapake. Ah, it's a top. It's a top. Well, I'm sure about the others. So, Karapake is on the top. That means Plastron will be the bottom.
So that's an example of how an exercise like this might go. I have pretend I did pretend to be quite a confident child, so I probably would have been four and a half, something like that. No being familiar with a lot of the words, having done some different cards before. Uh, but still the child has learned two new words and they're quite capable of checking themselves with comparing it's not very hard is it you know you've got the picture here and the word underneath so it's not very hard to check it that you succeeded or didn't and I um, I pretended that a child will not be familiar with those two words here further for discussion you could read the back of the um, cards which would be interesting it says a little bit, a little description, um, uh, guided to a preschool child on the back. Uh, so, and otherwise you can, I'm sure there's great conversations that will come out of this. I tried to hint on that with, I know a lot of heads, I've described a lot of heads, I've described my own head before. Draw uh, connections that you can see between a reptile and a mammal, for example. Or something where you cannot see a connection between a reptile and a mammal. Um, a good place for conversing. That's why this equipment goes under language equipment. It's not a reading exercise and it's also um, <clears throat> not a writing exercise. While it might end up that the children want to copy the different words that they um, are seeing here displayed. This is a conversation exercise and the children can converse with one another about the turtle. Thank you.